Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Beer Little Guys. Today's beer is a beer from... Eige Brewery. Brugie. And it is a, described as a Lynch, Lynchburg Nat Barrel Aged Imperial Porter. So... I just love the name Imperial Porter. It is so much better than wine, red wine, white wine, imperial porter, doesn't that roll off the tongue better? The reason why I'm mentioning wine in this review is because I've had a lot of comments lately from people saying that their wives especially were wine drinkers and they managed to get him to try these Imperial Porters and IPAs and the mouthfeel is going to be in the same kind of region, that kind of, same kind of silky mouthfeel as a, as a wine. So it's easier for them to, for the ladies and for the men to get used to an Imperial Porter or an Imperial Stout because again it's 10% it's, it's ABV. So, well let me show you the bottle cap. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What I'm finding with beers these days, especially these Imperial Stouts and Imperial Porters etc. is that the quality on these beers seem to be getting better and better and better. And certainly from Sweden, Belgium, the beers that Johan's been sending, thank you Johan for sending the beer. I've been finding that the quality of these beers are right up there, right up there with the best in the world. Oh, I can smell the whiskey from here. So yeah, it's a barrel aged, a whiskey barrel aged beer. And the Lynchburg, Tennessee, the barrels are from there, so I don't know whether that's um, Jack Daniels or something like that. I really, I, I'm not a whiskey drinker, so I don't know. On them, it might might be the uh, the other company. I don't know. There may be a lot of American whiskey companies. I, I just don't know. Um, right to so this beer then. It's very very black. You're not seeing anything in that glass at all. It's a one finger head. It's off white, slight tan colored to it. There's carbonation rising from the side of the glass. I can smell the, the whiskey aroma from here. There's a massive, massive presence of of wood, of oak in here, mixed in with a whiskey, and then you've got the porter there, the, the dark malts, the chocolate, the caramel, the coffee. This smells divine, so I'm going to get in. Cheers, everyone. Oh yes, yes, absolutely smashing. This beer, this beer is defined in two halves for me. The first half is a really nice warming whiskey taste mixed with the oak and then that kind of gets taken away, it gets swept off his feet with the second half of the flavour which is the porter and that is flavours of chocolate, roasted malt, roasted barley, ah, coffee, caramel, it's, it really is 
there's even a vinous, I'm getting a vinous quality now in, 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 the, in the background and the taste. The mouthfeel, as I mentioned earlier, for 10% ABV, I mentioned it in comparison to a wine, is absolutely wonderful. It coats your mouth, it coats your tongue. It's not one of them beers that when it hits your lips, you're fighting to, you're licking your lips, you're fighting to get the beer off your lips, you're like, oh, you know, it's not quite right. This beer, you can sit it on your lips. It, it's very, very pleasant indeed. It's very pleasant. The more I'm trying these whiskey barrel aged porters, stouts, the more I'm, I am enjoying them. Um, this reminds me a, a great deal to Orkney Islands Grand Island Reserve, which was again a 10% whiskey barrel aged porter. Basically, if you're new to this channel, if you, if you if if you're getting into your beers, they're basically make, making a big imperial porter. Imperial means over eight percent ABV. They're getting a big porter. They're getting a big batch of it. They're bringing barrels in from Tennessee in America, old whiskey barrels. They're just pouring the porter in the whiskey barrel. They're seeing it shut, and they're going. Let's age this. Let's see how long we can age this. They're, they're taking the lid off every now and then. They're probably, or not taking the lid off, they're probably pouring a little bit off on the tap, trying it. Is it right? Is it wrong? Can we age it a little bit more? And it, it, it's just, it's just marvellous what they're doing these days with beer. It really is a marvellous thing. And I'm so glad to be smack bang in the middle of this revolution. I really am. Mm. I had a huge waft, a huge waft of the oak barrel then. A really big, big as soon as it, it I hit the taste it was like it was like putting your gums round wood. It really was. And then that quickly faded away. Okay, let's get the rest of this beard in here. Lovely stuff. Okay, the beer you're holding started as a rich imperial porter with flavours of chocolate and coffee and a hint of Amarillo hops. Now it's been aged, the Amarillo hops, they're not really um, present in the beer. Um, but that's absolutely fine. They, they, they knew the hops were going to fade, the flavours of the hops were going to fade because of you know they just don't they just don't last they, they like to be especially amarillo it like it likes to be drunk fresh uh, then we decided to really have some fun and age some in used american whiskey barrels from lynchburg tennessee home to a rather famous distillery now i probably should have googled that before i come on but as you know on this channel i do not like to stand here reading tasting notes and then just rolling off a load of flavours to you that, that I've read off the side of the bottle. That's not what, what we're all about here. Um, I like to go into a review absolutely blind. Uh, the result speaks for itself. Enjoy slowly with good friends. Recommended serving temperature 10 degrees centigrade. Celsius, I think. Yeah, Celsius. Okay. Eager was the brewer to the gods in, in the Norse mythology and was the inspiration for our brew pub in Flam. Eger Brewery makes a variety of beers from light and simple to dark and complex. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Website is igerbrewery.no. So this is a new, this is a Norwegian, this is a Norwegian beer then. Okay. I'm into nine and a half minutes, so I'm going to give my final verdict. But first of all, let me show you the quality of this beer. Let me rock this beer back and forth, show you the lacing, show you the carbonation that's just rising from the side of the glass. Isn't that wonderful? Mm. Let 
That is a super, super drink. I'm going to take that away. It's five past eight in the evening. I'm going to go and enjoy this uh, for the rest of the evening. Slippers, pipe, sit back, enjoy this nice, nice beer. For me, it's very, very special. It's a beer I probably look to crack open on my birthday or Christmas day or a, a very, very special family event just to crack this open and go, look, try this. Put your wine away. Put your wine away. Try this. Um, so for all them reasons, I'm not going to go over everything again, but for all the reasons I've mentioned before, this gets an extremely solid 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. Uh, bearing in mind this is brewed in a brew pub in Norway. It's not going to be massive facilities. It's going to be a very small, kind of just a pub with perhaps a little cellar. I think what they're doing in these, in, in, in all of Europe and America, the whole world, the, the craft beer revolution is getting very, very exciting indeed. It's, get, it's about to hit the masses. And when it does, they're going to be shocked. Thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like and cheers.